Hello, YTPC. Parsimonious Piper here. Happy New Year. Today I wanted to thank a Jeff, Tamper Tantrum, for his uh, gaw givings. I uh, received them while I was out of town, and uh, I just wanted to share uh, the generosity uh, that he showed to me. So, to begin with, ah, housekeeping. Smoking a little bit of the Brian's Blend um, that I got from uh, Brendan Blue Line Pipe for Christmas. I will give you the uh, link down below to the brick and mortar where he got it if you're interested. It is a Virginia blend, uh, three or four different kinds of Virginias. I suspect that there is either a slight vanilla topping or that one of the Virginias is Cavendish because I'm getting a, a bit of a honey vanilla flavor to it. It's nice, very lightly aromatic. And yes, Mel, I said something about a nice about a Virginia blend. So, what did I get? Set this down to start with. He sent me one of his handmade tampers. Lovely little piece. Nice spiral carving. Pick at one end, tamper at the other. Just beautiful. Now, he also sent some samples. Um, healthy samples of some of his homegrown tobaccos. A light fire burly, a bunch of pipefuls of that there. What he calls his American blend. And then two big bags. Look at that of American burly. Now I'm a burly lover. I have smelled these and they smell like wonderful uh uncased untopped burley i am going to enjoy these and i'll let you know when i smoke them what my impressions are now that would have been enough that's good didn't want to let it go out but he also sent me a pipe. Now, let me show you this little beauty. Actually, we'll show it from the opposite side so you can see the stamping on it. This is a lovely Rhodesian. It's a Bjarni Nielsen. Now, for those of you who are familiar with uh, Danish pipe making, Bjarni Nielsen was a legend for decades. Uh, sadly passed away in 2008. Uh, he was known for just unbelievably wild, creative, and beautiful freehands. Now, in the 90s, uh, 80s and 90s, he discovered that there was actually a big market for his pipes, uh, in particular for more traditional shapes in Germany. And so he contracted out with a half a dozen uh, or so pipe makers uh, to make various uh, grades of uh, factory pipes. One of the, those grades was simply stamped Bjarni. Now, this was not made by Bjarni Nielsen himself. It was, however, made by another Danish legend, and that is Mogens Johansson, better known by his nickname and brand name, Yos. So this lovely little Rhodesian is a Yos pipe, courtesy of Bjarni Nielsen's company. Uh, it's a nine millimeter, so I am going to get both uh, some nine millimeter filters. Those of you guys who are nine mil fans, tell me what your favorite kinds of uh, filters are. I, I've never smoked a nine millimeter with a filter before. Uh, and I'm also gonna get uh, the nine millimeter insert just to see uh, the difference uh, between that and uh, a filter. But thank you again, Jeff, I, I'll leave a link down below to uh, to your channel as well. Uh, if you haven't subbed him, give him a look. Very thoughtful guy, 
and obviously a generous one as well. With that, folks, light something you enjoy. Ah, it's out. I'm going to relight. Enjoy it. Happy New Year. Enjoy your afternoon.